Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, select this box layer and go to pen behind icon and go to solo, move the anchor point down and click tool and solo and let's press S, open scale and click this scale icon and make scale two frame let's go to solo and right now let's go to 10 G frames for shotgun you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard and change scale like this let's change this 40 and go to 10 G frames and change 135 again go to 10 G frames change 75 or change 85 go to 10 G frames change 125 or let's try change 115 go to 10 G frames change 95 again go 10 G frames change 105 again go 10 G frames change 100 also let me show next way for go to 10 G frames click time duration and right here plus 10 for go to 10 G frames then click OK so let's select two frames and make two frames easy or click F9 let's see okay nice so let's unsolo this layer and select this layer one and two let's link to box one and select this layer three also link to box two and select this layer four and five let's link to layer three and select this layer three change name box jump And in this time, let's go to here. Right now, let's press P, make new pass in Q frame, and go to 10 Q frames. Let's move to left this box layer. And select these Q frames, make easy. And let's see. Okay, and select last Q frame, move to right, and go to middle. And in this time, let's move to up for create new Q frame and change curves like this and let's see okay select two frames let's move to left okay not bad and let's hold shift press air open rotation and make rotation two frame and go to here change rotation like this and go to next two frame change like this and say two frames make also easy. Let's say again. Okay, so select these all scale two frames and hold Alt, move to left for more fast animation. Let's say again. Okay, select these jump two frames and move to right or move to left. Okay, nice. And let's select this middle rotation keyframe and delete. Let's see. Nice, I like it. Also, we can select middle keyframe for this keyframe and let's right mouse, go to keyframe velocity and right here 75 and click this checkbox. Also right here 70, click OK. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So in this time, select this layer 1 and move the anchor point right, Clusation tool and select this layer 2 and go to pen behind, move the anchor point down, Clusation tool and go to here, let's select these two layers, press S, click this scale icon and make scale 2 frames, go to 5 2 frames and change scale 0 and this 0 select two frames make easy let's see okay go to graph editor select this graph make smooth like this okay let's back to two frames and let's see select this work area nice and for perfect timing let's select these two keyframes and let's move to left here and let's say again okay let's move to left 
Okay, select last few frames, move to left for more fast animation. And let's move to right a little bit. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's close all settings and go to text. Let's write here cell, equalization tool, and let's move to here. Then let's click this icon for 3D layer and right mouse, go to compensation settings, go to 3D render, and let's use Cinema 4D and click OK. So open text inside and geometry options and change extrusion deep but before go to view change v1 for c extrusion and change extrusion deep here 25 but change 50 okay nice and change bevel style let's try this okay that's good and let's change view active camera and right now we can make animation for this text. Let's select this text and move to right. And press P. Move to down. Change quality quarter. And move to down. And move to behind box layers. And make new pass in keyframe. Let's click here. Right here plus 10. For go to 10 keyframes. Click OK. And move to up text layer. Go to 10 keyframes. I was use shift and page down. And move to down. Go to 10 keyframes. Again, move to up. And again, move to down. And again, move to up. And again. Okay, so let's select work area. And select keyframes, make easies and less animation. Okay, we have problem with last few frames. Select this last few frame. Let's move to up and select last few frame here. Move to up a little bit. Okay, select all two frames and hold Alt, move to right for more slow animation. Okay, so in this time, let's select this text and hold shift press air open rotation and make Y rotation keyframe change like this. And go to here, change rotation. Let's change minus 25. And go to here, change 10 or 15. And go to here, change minus 7. And go to more keyframes, change 3. And go to here, change minus 1, that 5. And last keyframe, change 0. And let's change rotations like this. Select all keyframes, move to left, and this. Okay, so select these rotation keyframes and make easy. Let's animation. Okay, I like it. So let's add some details. And let's go to window, open animation comes 3 and go to starter precoms and shape elements. And let's change size. I want to use these particle fireworks. Let's click here and let's click for close add sound. Click add and close window let's see okay in this time move to left let's move to down okay go to fs presses search fx field select field let's use for compensation and go to airdropper select this color or this and select this cell text Let's move to left. Let's see timing. Let's move to left more. Okay, nice. Not bad. 
Let's select work area for for second. Let's say game. Okay, that's good. I like it. So let's add shape layers. Let's go to pen tool and zoom to here. Let's add one line, Clusation tool, and go to fill, select no for close inside fill color, click OK, and go to stroke width, change stroke width 10 or change 15, and go to color cube. Let's use this dark blue color, click OK. And go to solo, let's change quality full, let's zoom to shape layer. And I want to make smooth end and start lines. Select this shape layer, let's open inside contents, shape one and stroke one, change bed cup to round cup. Nice. So let's make animation, select shape layer, go to add and let's use trim pads. And let's close stroke here and open trim pads one and move to right this layer, change start 100 and make start keyframe and go to here, change start 0, let's see, okay and in this time make end keyframe and go to here and change end 0, say keyframes make easies and let's select work area, let's say animation, Okay, let's select all keyframes, hold Alt, move to left for more fast animation. Let's again hold Alt, move to left. Nice. So let's unsolo and change quality quarter. Let's change it up to 100%. And let's see here. Select the shape layer, move to left. Let's move to left like this. Okay, let's move to up here or move to center and move to behind cell layer okay not bad and let's move to right a little bit for better timing okay so in this time let's change stroke width 25 and select the shape layer 1 change name line and control d for duplicate let's move to right here and move to right this control d for duplicate again go to here and move to right let's see okay not bad so guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!